Hi there, Michael Bovey with Consumer Recovery Network. Thanks for tuning in to our YouTube channel, Debt Bites. Today I want to talk to you about settling credit card debt specifically with Bank of America. B of A is one of the largest credit card issuers in the country. They have been for many years. They are probably one of the banks that historically, let's say over the last maybe decade, I've been doing this kind of work for two decades or more. But the last decade I would consider them one of the most fair and favorable banks to work with if you're trying to resolve credit card debts that you can no longer afford to pay. During the recession, for example, Bank of America was offering their struggling cardholders settlements that were better than virtually every other bank out there. They don't do much of those kind of favorable settlements anymore. I still do see some, say, 25% settlements with B of A, but it's getting harder to come by. They do settle uh, pretty consistently at the 40% rate, like many major banks. They still do settle some at even the 30% and in, in, in that area too. Whether you're working directly with Bank of America or working with one of their outside third-party contingency debt collectors, the type of most common type of debt collector who basically calls you and writes you and tries to get you to pay. Um, if they get you to pay anything, they, that's how they get paid. Otherwise, they're not really earning anything. That type of debt collector is pretty easy to work with on Bank of America accounts when you weigh several different things about yourself and how you're seen by Bank of America or FIA Card Services, by the way, who does a lot of the collection for, um, as part of Bank of America, does a lot of the collection for Bank of America, the brand. FIA Card Services is part of that company. So when you're unable to make your minimum payments and you've fallen behind by say five months, that's about when you're approaching the opportunity to settle for the best savings rate, um, you're going to be dealing with either FIA Card Services or Bank of America and your targets are between 30 and 40 percent realistically. If you are paying other creditors on time, if you're paying other credit cards on time, if you've had things about your account with Bank of America, like you've just three months before you stopped paying, the, you just withdrew a cash advance for thousands of dollars or used the card for thousands of dollars of purchases. Um, a huge percentage, in other words, of your available credit limit is something that you recently tapped into and or you did a recent balance transfer in the last, say, 12 months. Um, and the balance, most of your B of A balance is due to a balance transfer. Those kind of percentages that I'm sharing with you are going to change more often than not. So uh, realistic targets are going to be situational if you have some not so common issues leading up to your default in, in payments to them. But otherwise, it's going to be pretty straightforward, common to everything I talk about with um, on the YouTube channel here about settling with your original creditors, everything in that video applies. Everything that I talk about in settling with Bank of America on the ConsumerRecoveryNetwork.com website, have a couple pages dedicated to settling with original creditors and specifically Bank of America, it all applies. When you deal with an outside third-party collection agency with Bank of America, some things are going to be a little bit different. Um, they're going to be paying closer attention to not just other creditors that you pay, but how collectible you look, right? Uh, are you paying a mortgage on time? You're somebody that's probably going to be viewed as more collectible than somebody who's just paying rent because you have an asset. Your home is considered an asset. If you're paying on a car on time versus not, you know, those kind of things are going to create a more collectible vision of you. And that means that while I might look to settle with a debt collector with, for Bank of America at say 25%, like I think you have a realistic shot because of your hardships and everything, you're somebody who might look like you can pay 35 or 40 percent. So those targets are going to be adjusted depending on the debt collector because they have different internal policies as well um, and depending on how collectible you're viewed. But Bank of America and settlements or negotiations with them or the collectors are really straightforward for the most part. Debt buyers are not currently picking up a lot of Bank of America debt. Bank of America is not selling a lot of unpaid credit card debts right now. But at the time of this recording, it's the end of 2015, I expect that to, uh, there's some ebb and flow to collection laws and, and against debt buyers and things like that and the creditors. Um, I expect that to shift and, and I expect big banks like B of A to start selling debt again uh, some, sometime maybe later in 2016 or even 2017. And that dynamic will change. So if your debt is say five years old, four years old from today and you're dealing with a debt buyer, that was common. 
Um, settlements with debt buyers can change. You do a search here on our channel. We might have covered that debt buyer in a video. You can certainly search more about that debt buyer uh, on our website uh, because I cover most debt buyers on the CRN site. Anyway, if you have questions about negotiating your debt, your credit card debts with Bank of America, even mortgage debt sometimes, post them in the comment area below and I give dedicated free feedback. You can also reach me by phone, call the number on the screen, press 2, that rings my phone. I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.